In this video, we will talk about what is a vector and how to do vector addition or subtraction using parallelogram law or triangle rule. You are probably more familiar with scalars. Scalars and vectors are both physical and mathematical quantities. A scalar can be completely specified by its magnitude, in other words, how big it is. Common physical quantities that are scalars include length, mass, time, and derived quantities such as volume and energy. A vector, on the other hand, needs to be specified not only by its magnitude, but also by its direction as well. Common physical quantities that are vectors include force, velocity, acceleration, and moment. Note that in print, the vector is normally expressed by bold letters. But in handwritings, we normally write a vector with an arrow on top of the letter. When we sketch vectors, for example, two force vectors, we use arrows. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector, and the direction of the vector is represented by an angle between the arrow and a chosen reference line. To perform vector addition, we need to follow the parallelogram law. Let's say we have two arbitrary vectors A and B, and we want to find the sum, in other words, the resultant vector R, which equals to A plus B. First step, we need to join the tails of the two vectors together so that they are concurrent. Then, we construct a parallelogram using A and B as the two sides. And then, draw an arrow that starts from the tails of A and B and points to the other end. This arrow is the resultant vector R, representing both the magnitude and direction of R. As a simplification to the parallelogram law, we can use the triangle rule instead. Again, we start with the two vectors A and B, and we want to find their sum, R. Instead of joining the tails of the two vectors, we now join them in a head-to-tail fashion, as you can see. Now, the head of vector A is connected with the tail of vector B then the resultant vector R can simply be represented by an arrow that starts from the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. What if we want to do vector subtraction? For example, what is R prime that equals to A minus B? Since we know subtraction can be considered as addition with a negative quantity, Therefore, we can first find the vector negative b, which has the same magnitude but opposite direction as a vector b. Then we can simply add vector a and vector negative b together using again either parallelogram law or triangle rule.